Today is the 8th of May 2022 and it is late autumn here in the Southern Hemisphere. Where I live in South Africa, the climate is subtropical and the winters are very mild, not cold at all. Today, I've got a garden update for you guys, so enjoy. Because the winter is very mild, uh, most of the plants grow throughout the year and we've got some bananas still growing uh, and we'll count them up now. So we've got one, two, here's three, here's four, and here's five. So in total, there are five racks of ladyfinger bananas. And over here is your normal Cavendish, which is almost ready. Another rack of Cavendish. Over here is a loquat tree. I'm really excited because I just planted this tree in the ground um, less than a year ago and I did the graft on it um, at the beginning of the year and it's already flowering and I'm hoping for a fruit or two to try because I've never eaten a loquat before and yeah, I'm really excited for this one. It looks like these buds are, are fully formed so the flowers should open anytime soon, maybe in a week or so, maybe even sooner. I don't know. Uh, if you guys have a low quattri and know, uh, I would appreciate it if you could let me know how much longer before uh, these flowers open. Low quats um, are extremely easy to graft as well. Um, I had no problem grafting this, uh, this tree and I actually did two grafts on it. Let me show you the the other one. This is the graft that has the flowers on it and below this one is the second graft. This is the second graft that I did and this is also uh, healed very well as you can see. So this is all of part of that graft which is also looking really strong. Yeah is a volunteer papaya which I only noticed a few months ago and I am in luck because it is also a female so I will be cool another papaya to the garden um, the best papayas that I've seen grow are the ones started from seed because they're really strong and healthy and papayas have a deep taproot system and they do not like to be disturbed, especially when they're young. So my recommendation would be to plant your papayas from seed. Plant as many seeds as you can. And um, yeah, keep the females and cut the males off. So you can plant multiple pap papayas in a single hole and wait for them to get old enough to determine the sex. Over here is the grapevine and the leaves are slowly dying back it will go dormant for winter and it's, it's just been over a year that I planted this and next year it's going to be madness I'm going to have so much of grapes I'm so excited the area is the foresty part of the garden and as you can see why it's almost a canopy and I've got planted a lot of passion fruit so I've got both the yellow and purple passion fruit. And here's a spider. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Ah, oh, he's a bit shy. Yeah, so these passion fruit, I've been eating them since the start of the year and they continue to come. Let's just have a look on the floor if there are any. Yes. So we've got one here. This is a purple. Yeah, it's the yellow and that is a dragon fruit. I'm hoping it will climb on the fence as an experiment. And here's also another dragon fruit. Over here I've got a lot of sugar cane, then there's more passion fruit and this is the same grapevine that uh, you saw a bit earlier. And grapevines can get up to um, a hundred feet and even longer than that 
So grapevines can get really long and you'll get a lot of grapes out of them as well. So it's going to be exciting times next year. Here there's more passion fruit on the fence. That's the purple kind. Over here I've got the Pinkerton avocado and I grafted this tree just about a year and four months ago and it's grown really well. It's been doing well and it is getting ready to flower. So hopefully it's big enough to hold a fruit or two. Um, yeah, the best thing would be to let it grow to get a bit bigger. But uh, yeah, I'm really keen to to maybe harvest an avocado or two from it because this this actually flowers multiple times a year and uh, yeah I think there are good chances this year as you can see here I've got a lot of mulch on the floor and there's sugarcane mulch and there's dried avocado leaves so that will keep it nice and happy here are some of the first pineapples that I planted. So this is the cayenne pine pineapple. These are your really big pineapples which have more of a transparent flesh. And next to them I've also got the normal queen pineapples. Um, yeah, so hopefully um, this year I might get a pineapple from this big one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time on the channel. Thanks for watching.